Welcome to Gentle Up Health Campus. This video is designed to show you how to get to birth sweat when you are in labour. When you arrive at Gentle Up Health Campus, make your way over to the private side of the hospital where you'll be presented by some glass doors. They will open regardless of what time of day it is. If it is after hours, you will have to push the birth suite into COM and that will connect you to the birth suite coordinator. Once the birth suite coordinator has opened the second set of glass doors, you need to make your way over to the elevators. Here you will head to level one. This is where you've been having all of your antenatal appointments with your obstetrician and your midwives. Once you have arrived on level one, you need to head towards the double doors to the right. Here you will see another intercom. This will connect you to the ward coordinator who will open up the doors to the ward. There are two types of rooms on the H1 postnatal ward. The first is a single room, which consists of a single bed and a pull-out bed for your birth partner. This is where you will be if you have had a caesarean section or have not had your baby yet. The room also consists of a baby bath and a change mat and also a refrigerator for all of your personal belongings. To ask for assistance from the nurses or the midwives, you simply push the green nurse call button on the television remote. The other buttons that are located here are for the staff members if they need additional help from other staff. The ensuite consists of a shower, sink and bathroom facilities. There are also 12 double rooms available on a first come first serve basis. This consists of a double bed, a baby bath, a change mat, as well as a fridge for your personal belongings. Just like in the single rooms, the nurse call system is exactly the same. You push the green button on your TV remote and this will alert the nurses and midwives that you need some assistance. The private on suites in a double room are the same as the single room, consisting of a toilet, shower and sink. The nursery is located to the right of the nurse's station. In the nursery we have a resuscitator. This is where we will bring baby if baby needs extra support postnatally. We also have some breast pumps to help you with your breastfeeding journey. All of your day three cares will be performed in this room where we weigh baby to ensure that they have lost less than 10%. It also gives us an opportunity to do a bath demo in this room if we need to, as well as facilities to help you prepare your formula. We also have an industrial bottle washer and we have a freezer to help store your frozen colostrum. Down the corridor to the left is the patient lounge. Here we have a television, tea and coffee making facilities and also comfortable chairs. This is the perfect place for dads to bring babies during the night so that mums can get a little extra sleep. To head to birth suite you just go towards the double doors. To the left of the double doors is a silver button if you push that button, it will allow the doors to unlock and provide you access to the security doors for birth suite. To access birth suite, you'll need to push the birth suite intercom and this will allow the birth suite coordinator to open the doors for you. Please be mindful that the doors open towards you, so stand back from the double doors. Once you have been assessed and determined to be in active labour, you'll be admitted to one of the birth suites. All of the private birth suites contain everything that you need to have for a successful vaginal delivery. The rooms also have the ability to have dimmed lights and we have blackout curtains to help provide the environment you choose for your birthing experience. We have CTG monitoring as well as multifunctional beds a PCEA which allows you to have full control over your epidural. 
We have a resuscitator, which is where we will take baby if baby needs some assistance after delivery. The Entinox facilities are not only located beside the bed, but also located in the bathrooms. This here is your PCEA, which allows you to have full control over your epidural if you choose to have one. The beds are very multifunctional. They provide many different positions for you to optimize your chances of having a vaginal birth. Here you can see the back of the bed can go up, but also the legs of the bed can go down. This is very beneficial if you have an epidural as it enables you to sit in the throne position. The other features of the bed include being able to take the end of the bed off. This is beneficial if the obstetrician needs to provide extra assistance for baby to be delivered. All of the CTG monitoring facilities on birth suite are able to be accessed by the doctors remotely. There is also a couch for birth partners to have a rest on. This is particularly helpful if labour is long. Ramsey Healthcare will also provide you with a pram bag, a packet of nappies, some baby wipes and some sanitary products. The large bathrooms in the private birth suite consist of a full length bath and an overhead shower, as well as a standalone shower. Another feature of the bathrooms on birth suite is the ability to have Entinox whilst in the bath or the shower if you choose to do so. We also have a selection of birth balls and peanut balls for your personal use. We hope that your transition to parenthood is one that is smooth and enjoyable. Don't hesitate to contact any of the staff at midwifeonline.com.au if you require more information.